lot of significance. No different than, you know, um, even though Death Row was, was where yeah. I got to start from with Snoop, which definitely means something, but I didn't get a chance to really. I mean, I did records mm. with Snoop and, and Corrupt, and some of those records leaked because they were supposed to actually be on the Murder Was the Case soundtrack. So mm. a lot of the songs like Dave, which is crazy because Dave was a, a song that Snoop actually recorded. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if it was after the fact, but both of them got leaked on YouTube. Oh, and they heard my version of Dave with Corrupt yeah. doing my ad libs, which Corrupt actually wrote that record for me. But if you go on YouTube, you type in Lil Bow Wow Dave, you type in Snoop Dogg Dave, me and Dogg is rapping the exact, exact same, same record. record. Yeah. So it wasn't that I wasn't recording records on Death Row. I actually did like three records right. when I was young on Death Row. But none what of them never got age, out. What though. age were you? I was like six, mm. six or seven. And then went back home at eight. But the thing was, So So Deaf is was the birth of battle. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Death Row was kinda like with Dog is where I kinda got my style <clears throat> and was polished and was ready to go. Right. But it was so so deaf and Jermaine it was the people that stamped that and really rode with me. Cause I didn't get a chance for as as much as I wanted Snoop to be the one mm, to, usher you to do it. Yeah. It was the fact that Snoop's relationship with Jermaine was so dynamic because of Chris and Chris. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, yeah. they would come out here and Smoke with Snoop and kick it with Dog, and that's how Jermaine and Snoop built their whole little thing. So, yeah. Dog just knew, like, I can't really give him the attention that he mm -hmm. really needs. I'm dealing with my own mess on the label. I'm trying to get off myself, mm -hmm. which prompt him to get on the phone with Jermaine and say, Listen, I got this kid that's like, oh, I already got him ready to go. All you got to do is just give him the music. As far as everything, you ain't got to teach him shit. Yeah. Just make him some songs. Yeah. But that's what So So Dev means to me. It was the actual launching pad. For me to get on right and to get off that's where the three million records was so that's where the legacy started for me that's where all the highlights is and you know still to this day you know it's gonna always be so so deaf forever because you know jermaine is like my pops right pops i never had um and that'll never stop it's on my arm i'm gonna always yeah. rep it but Can you see that? yeah 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 i got my tattoo oh, yeah, that's you know crazy. What I'm, I'm gonna always rep it that's crazy no matter what i got my death row chain here too but yeah. for me it's like now the reason why I hit you about this chain was two reasons. Number one, I had misplaced the one that I actually took from Jermaine. Mm, back in the day. Yeah, but this one is 10 times better, 10 times heavier. Yeah. Um, no offense, but it's the truth. I got to say what it is. Yeah. And on, on top of that, I've been a part of some legendary shit. Yeah. And that's why I kind of wanted to go back and collect all my pieces. Mm. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like yeah, winning a yeah, ring yeah. on the Patriots, even though you didn't play. Like, like I rode the bench on Death Row. Right. But I still got a ring. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, I got a chance to be on Doggy Style. I did all the, birth, all the voices <laughs> on Snoop First album. I got my plaque to that. So like, I, got a, I got one ring there. I yeah. want multiple rings, yeah. uh, you know, on So So Def. And it's like now I started my own brand with the whole BW, my logo. So I'm definitely going to be contacting you like, yo, yeah, I need yeah. another chain. I need my... My logo made, so now it's all about me branding myself. But in order for Bow Wow to spin off and brand myself, it all started here. And one thing I was raised on is never forget, you know, where you come from, and never, never bite the hand that feeds you. And I, I, I wouldn't be able to start my own brand or even get into doing those things if it wasn't for JD, if, if it wasn't for me being signed to So So Deaf. So.